Welcome back to HANA Developer Channel. My name is Rekhan. In today's session, we're going to look at HANA 2.0 Access Advanced Tooling, comparing with HANA Access Classic Tooling. In Access Classic, well, we have HANA Studio or Eclipse as development tools to perform all kinds of activities in HANA platform. The activities include administration and security, database object development, application development, um, lifecycle management, and also the source control of the object development, etc. All these activities are performed in one client application, which is HANA Studio or Eclipse. Of course, there are different perspectives of HANA Studio, which allows us to do these activities. In Access Advanced World, well, we have different tools for all these different activities. For example, for administration and security, we have uh, HANA Cockpit, a web-based tool, to perform user security and system administration, uh, etc. Similarly, we have a new tool called WebID for HANA, which is an, again a web interface to perform uh, modeling of the calculation views, DB objects development, also application development. We also have a different um, um, cockpit for Access Advanced uh, Administration, which includes uh, maintaining the security of Access Application users and also um, managing the services of Access Advanced Server. Unlike HANA Studio, we have a, a different source controlling cross mechanism, which is called GitHub or GitLab, uh, to, to, to effectively manage the uh, source control of the objects uh, with uh, multiple developers working in a sim same project at the same time. For the deployment or transportation purpose, we have it. Uh, different set of tooling uh, in, in Access Advanced. There are Access command line tools. Also, we can automate this com deployment process using GitHub as part of continuous integration or continu continuous deployment process. Now we're going to uh, have a side-by-side -side comparison between these two um, worlds, Access Classic and Access Advanced. So I'm going to show you how these activities are currently being performed in HANA Studio and they are they going to be performed in Access Advanced Tooling. Okay, let's take a look at this tooling in the system. I'm going to access uh, client tool first, that's HANA Studio or Eclipse. In my case, it is Eclipse. I also wanted to access uh, HANA Cockpit. It's a web link. You can get it from Access Command Line Tools by issuing Access Apps command. You'll be getting the web link, or you can get it from Administrator as well. So in this home page, I have um, a development tile where I can see two resources running. I'm going to access this tile and see what are those two resources. I have the system DB resource and then I have a tenant DB resource. I can do the administration of the tenant DB alone by accessing this particular link. So I'm in um, the administration or administration of the, the tenant database, I can see different um, uh, features inside the uh, tenant DB like memory usage, alerts, disk usage, and also the system information um, in the bottom. You can see the, the database version HANA 2.0 SP4 and the platform. In Access Classic, well, we do I have the multi-tenant uh, database uh, features. So in, let's take a look at uh, the, the tenant DB in, in Eclipse. So you can see that the administration can be done for the tenant DB in the way by clicking this uh, the, the HXE and also a click on the administration and you have the access to the mon monitoring alerts system configuration and etc similarly you can also access the system db in access classic world uh, by using hana studio or eclipse you can also do that in the uh, hana cockpit by choosing the different uh, resource in 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 the home page that's the system db it's going to look like uh, exactly same as the tenant DB. Uh, the the administration uh, process is going to be same, but it is 
uh, different uh, based on the configuration what we wanted to put it in. We also talk about the user administration. In HANA Studio or Eclipse, we perform the user administration in security. So we have users um, and roles and security tab. So in, inside the users, we create new users and we assign some privileges to those users. Also, we can have a role created and, and uh, prepare all the privileges in that particular role and give that role to the users. This is a user administration and user role uh, configurations in Access Classic World. In Access Advanced, in HANA Cockpit, you can do the same by going into the, um, the user and role management uh, the tile and then you can have manage users, assign roles to users and assign privileges to use. All these diff different types of user administration is done in this particular uh, links. You can open one of these link and show you how does it looks like. This is, this is how um, the Fury based application, web application looks like. So you can create a new user and edit the existing user and also activate and delete all the actions can be performed here. To create a new user, just say plus and then create user. And the navigations of creating user is going to be very similar to the process what we used to have or what we have in HANA Studio or Eclipse. So I'm not going to get into the details of how an user can be created or how a role can be created. Uh, as long as the process is same, uh, we're good uh, to have them created in this web interface of HANA Cockpit. I wanted to jump on to uh, this other security part which is um, um, auditing policy and data encryption and etc. So these activities are performed in HANA Studio through the security tab here. Um, in HANA Cockpit, we, we, we do, we, we, we can perform this activity and, and by using the data encryption uh, tile. So we can enable the data encryption, we can for the data volume or log volume or backups, etc. We also perform um, the, uh, the auditing policy enablement in HANA Cockpit using the auditing uh, tile group so you can see that status is off but you can um, enable the auditing trail and you can also provide the auditing trail target so that the data auditing log data gets into those targets the navigations and the process are very similar to what we do in HANA Studio or Eclipse so I'm not going to get into the details of this auditing and data encryption now I, I wanted to jump on to the uh, smart data integration and smart data access, the virtual data access and data replication um, and data integration activities in HANA Studio used to be in data provisioning tab. So you can create a remote source, you can set up a um, data uh, DP pro uh, adopters and all these activities in right there. Similarly, in HANA Cockpit, we do have uh, the options to perform uh, the smart data integration activities, configuring data, provisioning agents, remote sources, all these, all these activities uh, can be performed in the catalog. Okay, and the next one is the very important one, most commonly used option is to access SQL console. So in, in a HANA Studio or Eclipse, we, we, we select the system and then click on SQL um, tab from the menu. It opens an SQL console for us to perform um, some of the SQL uh, actions to be executed in the HANA database. So similarly in HANA Cockpit, we have something called Open SQL Console. So it opens a DB Explorer view of HANA Cockpit and then you can choose the database uh, by adding the database in here and then run the SQL uh, right there. Uh, we're going to see this uh, database explorer 
uh, more when we get to the FebID for HANA tooling as well. So, but just giving a heads up here that the SQL console is accessed through DB Explorer and then we can form any selects on database tables um, or any different SQL procedures, creation and all these activities can be performed in this uh, SQL console window. That's about the administration and security part uh, with the new tooling uh, in Access Advanced using HANA cockpit. I will move on to the uh, second one which is WebID for HANA. This is a development tool used for creating database objects um, as a design time artifacts and also the modeling objects like calculation views and table functions to uh, access the database artifacts and prepare analytical models for reporting and dashboarding purpose. Also we have application development which includes uh, the database developments, application developments uh, using Node.js or Access.js, also web uh, module developments using HTML, HTML modules. For all these activities we use WebID for HANA. In previous uh, situation in uh, Access Classic while well, we use HANA Studio, we used to have a different perspective for that which is uh, modeling perspective and uh, application development perspective. So those two perspectives are now um, evolved or transitioned to one perspective or one, one tool which is called WebID for HANA. I'm going to access the uh, both Access Classic tooling and Access Advanced tooling side by side and let's take a look at them. In Access Classic we have a perspective here for modeling uh, that's modeling and there is another perspective for application development that's the uh, as one here right there so here in the application uh, development we have uh, access JS or access O data um, objects creation and a project and then also we have option to create UI 5 or UI HTML objects development to create uh, or develop custom application um, as a full stack development. Now in Access Advanced we have uh, Web ID for HANA that's the new tool um, uh, that's going to be it's going to look like this uh, I got a workspace and inside the workspace you create uh, multi-target applications or uh, there are different templates available to create uh, database applications, uh, um, uh, uh, the Node.js uh, Node applications and also HTML5 applications as web applications. So by leveraging those templates you can start building the uh, different objects and then those objects will be created as runtime objects in the, uh, in the database and you can access them through Database Explorer. So data, Database Explorer can be accessed from HANA Cockpit as well as from development workspace of Web ID for HANA. So um, I'm not going to really show how the development works in Web ID for HANA. We had uh, several sessions on um, how to do developments in Web ID for HANA. Uh, but I just wanted to show um, this is the tool which will be used for modeling and uh, application development scenarios. And then I move on to the other tools for HANA repository. We used to have HANA repository for source control, so you can, which means you can go back to the previous version, uh, um, previous to previous version, active version, if you have. If you have to go. So the source control is maintained by HANA repository which is going to get stored in your personal uh, system um, client. In Access Advanced World we have uh, GitHub as a source control uh, software uh, which is going to be 
handling the source control for your code base objects. So you can have the code base saved in GitHub outside of your access advanced or HANA system. And then those objects can be pulled at any point in time and you perform the activities and push back those developments to the GitHub and so that other developers can access them. And which also allows you to perform multiple developers to work at the same time by using branching uh, concepts. The merging, branching, all these different pull, push requests, all these together will make source control uh, work better than uh, any time before in HANA world. I can just quickly show how this looks like in the system. Um, for the repository, so you can see from the development perspective, there is a repository information. So this is get stored to your personal laptop or client. and and then you can go back to the previous version if you need it. In the web IDE, you also have Git integration with Git pane. So you can perform push, pull, fetch, activate, commit, all these activities uh, and do the source control effectively. And lastly, I wanted to talk about lifecycle management. We used to have uh, HALM or HANA lifecycle management process to transport the delivery units uh, of the package content repositories into the next system or the target systems could be quality or production. Um, we also have uh, other scenarios where we used uh, CTS, uh, SAP CTS mechanism to transport the objects into the target system uh, when there was already uh, the above CTS uh, features are incorporated in the company landscape. If it is native, the more flexible way to promote or transport the objects is HALM tooling. Or you can also do it from the HANA Studio. In Access Advanced World, we have uh, a command line tool uh, which are, allow you to bundle or uh, archive the application project and then deploy that in the target space. Could be quality or production. You can also automate this process uh, through GitHub so that it's going to be part of your DevOps model so that continuously uh, uh, it's getting deployed after uh, it's been successfully pushed to the GitHub. So that's all about different tooling in Access Advanced. So. Uh, whatever the activities you've been doing in Access Classic World using these different perspectives or different futures you'll be doing uh, with this new tooling in Access Advanced. That's all for this session. Uh, if you have any questions or you wanted to get the detailed training on this uh, on these topics, please reach out to me on uh, my email ID surumpalias at gmail.com I'll meet again with a different topic. Thank you. Bye for now.